Hi, welcome to the video. This is Monster Prom. So we're just gonna start off simple and we're gonna start off alone. We're gonna do the second term because the DLC is fun. Let's do a, let's do a short game. Let's try that. Ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Who are you? Difficult. I think I, I like I like yellow. Oz is his name, but we're gonna customize that character. We're gonna customize that. We're gonna go purple Lucas. Pronounce he. All right. Let's do it. And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge: the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our eight most charismatic classmates. Scott Howell, 21. A werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly large heart. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19. A sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Oh, Polly Guy is 22? <laughs> a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Damien LeVay, 21. A fearless demon with a taste of destruction and a love of fire. Liam de Lionheart, 4XX. A hipster vampire whose standoff demeanor hid the fact that he was truly a lovable dork. Zoe, forever? <laughs> An eldritch cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl. Calculester Hewlett Packard version 1.0. <sighs> a library computer who had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. And Vera Oberlin, 23. <laughs> a mean self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear, it had to be one of them, but who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo, to woo them and conquer their hearts. But as I said already, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Oh, welcome to the Monster Prom stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they're rotten in so many different ways. Where we know more, we are using our PhD in bullshit to, dis to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever, TM, will throw a bunch of absur absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your characteristic traits. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. Which god do you pray to each and every night before sleeping? Oh, I pray to all kinds of gods. I have this business where people pay me to deliver their prayers every night. I even started to look for a Chinese factory to outsource the play <gasps> the prayers. Ooh, excuse me. Praying is kind of lame. I have a group text set up with some deities. Lo Loki, coolest cats in town. Do you know Loki? Praying is for fools. I, take I took compromising pics of God molesting a tree, and now I blackmail him for whatever I want a lot more effective. Let's do this one. All right, so this is just gonna help with the stats for our character. If you could put a curse on the worst enemy, what would it be? Hmm, I think this one, that'd be funny. That's charm, all right, fair enough. Oh, what would your dream first date be? A fierce fight that starts a lifelong rivalry opening, open to becoming something else? Should we kiss? <laughs> a loving walk in the forest after rescuing your date from a dragon. Okay. What? A sweaty and manly wrestling match. An art exhibition experiment enough to give you a seizure. Crimes. Let's, let's say from a date. Oh, that's Miranda. Okay. What would be the most appealing in a love partner? Soft fur, tentacles, 
50 gigabytes of RAM, a taste for party, sharp wits, a very Sundere personality. I don't know. Let's go for the Sundere personality. Oh, what? That was... Okay. That was Vera. All right. All right, it's game time. So, we have different locations of the school that give us different stats, and it looks like our stats are on the side there. We have nine smarts, five boldness, four creativity, six charm, three fun, and seven money. I say we just go for like evening out everything, and let's go to the fun, which I believe is outdoors. That day during recess, you started a half out rate that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalated so much, but at one point there was like 300 people. Someone summons demons from the nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself. But who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two fun. Awesome. You see Miranda and Vera chatting away, their eyes gleaming the gleam of the scheming. Hey, you. Crowdsource isn't doing nearly as well as I thought it would. Oh, if it isn't Purple Lucas. Greetings, fellow classmate. Would you like to be a customer? Once upon a time, serfs were only for the rich and fabulous. Da, da, da. Like Vera and myself. Hey, yo, what? But now, thanks to our apps, Crowdsurfs, you too can have your very own crowdfunded surf. The app is being generously funded by my royal family who wished for everyone to experience the joys of reality of royalty. I'm so bad at words. <laughs> and get richer off of it. <laughs> I think our business might be failing because the serves are simply not of high enough quality to maintain customer interest. <sighs> the serves need to have more enthusiasm for their job. We need to recruit from the right locations. <laughs> Don't be absurd. If there's one thing being royalty has taught me, and there's definitely more than one, it's that you can trick anyone into doing anything as long as you give them the right insensitives. But why not start with the easy manipulation, manipulate the easily manipulated in the first place? Purple Lucas, what do you think? So our options are Vera's right. Why not recoup people who want to? be bossed around at a leather daddy convention. What? <laughs> and Miranda has a point. Everyone wants to win. Host an unpaid labor competition where the prize is doing more unpaid labor. I think Vera's right. I think I'm going to go with Vera's right. Oh, not bad. So it was smart. Okay. Oh, I like that quite a bit. <gasps> Excuse me? But if there were conventions for daddies, I am quite sure I would know about them. My father is one of the most powerful dads I know, so if he was not invited... <sighs> just stop there, Miranda. Trust me. How does that sound? Free lifetime of submission, dirty talk, guaranteed dress code, come as you are. Vera, with the help of a confused Miranda, goes to the next leather daddy convention in town. The next time you see Vera and Miranda, they seem much happier. These serfs we recruited are so enthusiastic to serve almost income what <laughs> and as an unexpected fragile prison benefit all of the serves keep trying to one-up each other's uniforms are you what hey so I create a line of latex and leather where that's making almost as much as crowdsource in the first place. That has been it's a win quite win. pleasing. It's a win-win-win situation. And don't worry, Purple Lucas. I won't ask how you know so much about the fetish community. Yay! Siding with Vera always makes her happy, and to show her appreciation, she gives you plus two money. She earned, and you gain plus one smart. All right. So smarts is a good smarts is our highest right now. Okay. All right. It's lunchtime, so now we get to talk to more of our person if we want to, or we can try and go down a different path. 
So I say we just we could go to the shop and see if we could buy something. But I say we sit with Vera and Damien and continue this Vera plotline. You find Vera sitting in front of a pile of money instead of food as usual. Damien comes over and drops his own money pile on the table and also some organs. Oh, not bad. But I prefer to extract a little less effort from my income. A dejected swap creature slumps over the table and adds some money to Vera's pile. Income? You mean this stuff? This is just what people throw at me to get me to stop punching them. And this is what people throw at me to keep me from revealing what kind of porn they're into. Hey, yo, what? Do you know what I'm into? But I agree, the money is only secondary. The frowns on their faces are their are their own reward. Still, I'm always looking to improve efficiency. <laughs> Have you tried developing business contacts in hell? Your victims will be even more terrified if they know death won't save them. Yeah, but that doesn't work on the ed undead. For those who need a priest. A priest! You know how my you know how my family feels about priests. Ugh, I'm sick of terrorizing people one at a time. There's gotta be a way to terrorize everybody in the cafeteria at once. And make money at the same time. I'm sure there is. That is, after all, the essence of capitalism. All right, so here are our options. We set the building on fire and charge an exit fee. I feel like that's a Damien thing. Trick everyone in the cafeteria into having an orgy, then film it, blackmail it in bulk. That's a Vera option. I'm going with Vera. Great. Simple, elegant, ranchy. I like your style. But how are you going to trick a whole room of people into having an orgy? Don't tell me you don't know how to do that. It is... Is it something to do all the time? Is this something you don't do all the time? I thought you were Prince of Hell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... I'm a prince of the Bernie part of Hell, not the sexy part. That explains it. Well, to answer your question, this is a room full of high schoolers. A slight breeze could initiate an orgy. <laughs> Although the succubus sauce I snuck into the Sloppy Joes won't hurt either. Hey, yo, what? It certainly doesn't. You, Vera, and Damien retreat to a safe distance to film the sexy carnage and avoid the fluids. Ew. That's nasty. Alrighty. All right. All right. I say we go there. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it it's as though the muse themselves have decided to give you a figurative blowjob. What? what? Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. All right. Later, you see Vera cackling to herself in the hallway, which is whatever, but you might as well find out why. <laughs> Just practicing my prom queen expect acceptance speech in my mind. Okay. It's not like the title bears any meaning whatsoever, of course, and I really do consider the whole thing way beneath me. However, considering how much meaning other girls put onto it, I can't risk some uppity bitch thinking she's better than I am. Plus, it's not bad branding either. I could see using a victory to start a line of success prom, successful prom queen's accessories guaranteed to get you the win. Perfect prom shoes, the right makeup, fancy knives to take out your opponents. What? Speaking of which, I assume those go without saying, but I'm not leaving anything to chance. I'll be doing a blood ritual to ensure my win. Rare excuse me. I still haven't found the exact details yet, but I'm optimistic that at least some of these items will be found in the shop. 
The only question is, where exactly am I going to find the detail for a proper blood ritual? How did you even get these things? Oh, well, I guess I'm about to find out. So my options are, why don't we ask the coven? They're witches. They should know all about blood mute magic. That could be a logic thing. That could be smart. Literally just search the internet. Like, that's literally what it's for. I feel like the internet is smart. The coven could be creativity. We're gonna try it. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, right, good call. Sometimes you get caught up in the grand scheme of exploiting blood magic to secure pretty victory, petty victory that you forget about the little things. You and Vera scamper over to the library to put the school's computer to good use for once. For real, does anyone at the school use school resources for educational purposes? Hmm. Let's just research blood magic to guarantee prom queen victory over basic bitches to maintain social status. That's pretty clever, right? I mean, if it worked, you could hit I'm feeling lucky. Couldn't possibly be clearer. Seems like we're gonna need the blood of a former prom queen, the tongue of a goat, and the earring of an ancient goddess. Okay, so how do you explain we're gonna find that? Not exactly stuff that's going to be lying around, but you're destined to be prom queen. You make it work. You know what? And I'm destined to think that you are going to like and subscribe. Maybe also ring that bell so you can get notified for when the next time I do a video like this. Just saying. Not that I'm destined to be prom queen or I wouldn't have to do the blood magic in the first place, but hey, when you want to achieve greatness, you make your own destiny. You check the shop, I'll grab a go, and we meet up at the bathrooms to cut the tongue out of, to get the tongue and get this party started. Sounds like a party indeed. You gain plus two fun and plus one smarts. Okay. Smarts are definitely our biggest way to go right now. And it looks like it's day two. All right. And I say, oh no, this is week two. So we still got a whole bunch of smarts. We can't go to the auditorium for the shopkeep. Class will give us more smarts. Do we watch? I don't want to get money. I don't think I need money. Uh, fun is probably the highest. We can go to gym for charm or the bathroom oh no creativity is the auditorium let's go to the gym no boldness is the bathrooms that's the lowest we got let's do it that day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority i guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms yeah pretty much you give zero shits but you gain plus two boldness Vera is trying to teach you and Scott how to play craps when you hear an all too familiar howl. <laughs> guys, 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 the wolf pack is here. It's my family, my teammates, the wolf pack. Yes, wonderful. I'm sure they're here to share their latest intellectual achievement. The wolf pack is here. What up my dogs? Hey guys, Vera was just that's cool, that's cool. So guess who got a hot date lined up for this weekend? Oh, don't tell me, don't tell me, I got this. Is it you? Bingo, broski. Turns out online dating super easy. Yeah, the secret is just be hot, like me. Sure, sure. Or you can just use an actor's face and body instead of your own face and body on the dating website. That's what we did. Aren't you worried that the potential uh, consequences of that? Like, what's gonna happen when their date realizes you're not handsome, make strong pecs? How did you know which actor we chose? And what are we gonna do? This is a very real problem that we never considered. Really? Luckily, you're an expert at online dating and at lying. You share with them the perfect solution. Spend the entire day inside a cardboard refrigerator box consider covered in question marks. Mystery is alluring. Just be yourself. But 
First, tear off the actor's face and wear it so your so yourself will be the same face as the actor. That one's definitely creativity, and I think this is either smart or boldness. And I think we go with this one. Oh, it's smart. Aw, that's sweet. Is it? Whoa, you're right. The power was inside us all along. We never needed to pretend to be a famous actor online. We just need to steal his face and use it to replace ours. That's the spirit. Is it? All right, boys, let's go steal us a face. I can help. I love helping. Scott sprints away with his boys to do something extremely questionable. Well, I must say, your, abil your ability to sell idiots in on a dumb plan is extraordinary. Think you could sell some real estate on my behalf? Boy, do you. You gain an ex extremely shady real estate license and also plus two charms and plus one money as an advance on your new job. All right, we seem to be doing pretty well. It's now it's lunchtime. All right. And I say we take a break here for the, the video. If you guys really do enjoy this, do hit like, do hit subscribe, do hit that bell if you wanna get notified for more of these games. I'll have part two coming out for this if you guys wanna enjoy that. And I hope to see you in the next one. Later.